Hi friends, if you are facing high RAM and memory usage problem on Windows, then do watch my this video till end, because in this video, I will share six settings which you need to change so that you can fix this high RAM and memory usage problem while gaming and editing. So, let's get started. In this first settings, disable unnecessary startup program. For that right, click on taskbar, and then click on task manager. Now go to startup tab. Here it shows you the list of all program which starts with your Windows startup. So it's better to disable all or unwanted programs from Windows startup. For that select any program and then click on disable. Do the same with all the unwanted programs. Once done, close the task manager and move to second step. In the second setting you need to stop all or unwanted background apps because there are number of Windows apps which are running in the background which you don't need it so it's better to stop them to save RAM or memory usage. For that, search for background apps and then click on it to open background apps, settings. Here, it shows you all the apps which are running in the Windows background. You can disable all the unwanted apps or disable them all from here. Once done, close the windows and then move to third step. In the third step, we are going to stop two Windows services which are not needed or maybe the culpate behind high RAM or memory usage on Windows. For that, search for services and then click on it to open Windows services. Now here in the services, first find and then double click on Background Intelligent Transfer Service to open its properties. After that, set startup type to manual or disable and then click on apply button. After that, Make sure that service status should be stopped. If running, then click on Stop, and then click on OK button to save the changes. Now, move on to the second service called SysMain, or SuperFetch. Once you find it, double-click to open its properties. All right, now just set the startup type to Manual or Disabled, and then hit Apply. Next, make sure the service status says Stopped. If it's running, just click Stop, then hit OK to save your changes. All right, once you're done, just close the services window and head over to Step 4. All right, in Step 4, we're going to turn off Windows visual effects and animations since they can slow down your PC. To do that, press Windows and R at the same time to open the Run box. Then type sysdm.cpl and hit OK. That'll bring up the System Properties window. All right, now go to the Advanced tab, and under Performance, just click on Settings. All right, first choose the Adjust for Best Performance option. Then turn on only the visual effects and animations you really need. Once you're done, hit Apply, then OK to save your changes. All right, step five, make sure your Windows and all your drivers are up to date. Just open Windows settings, then go to Update and Security. As you can see, my Windows is already up to date. But if you want to look for new updates, just click on Check for Updates. It'll start searching, and if there's anything new, Windows will download and install it automatically. To update your Windows drivers, just open Device Manager. Simply right-click the Windows icon and click on Device Manager. Inside Device Manager, you'll see all your device drivers listed. To update one, just expand the device category, right-click the driver, and choose Update Driver. Next, click on Search Automatically for Drivers. Just make sure your PC or laptop is connected to the Internet. That's how Windows will find and update your drivers automatically. Once it's updated successfully, just close the window. You can do the same thing for all your other device drivers too. After you've updated all your drivers, just close out of Device Manager and head over to Step 6. In Step 6, we're going to add virtual memory to your hard drive. It basically works like extra RAM for your PC. For that, Open the Run box again by pressing Windows plus R on your keyboard. Type sysdm.cpl 
and then click OK. Now here, go to the Advanced tab first, then click on Settings under the Performance section. After that, switch to the Advanced tab again and click on Change under Virtual Memory. First, uncheck the box that says Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. After that, select the drive where you want to allocate space for virtual memory. Using the recommended paging file size formula shown here, calculate both the initial size and maximum size based on your installed RAM. But before that, you'll need to convert your installed RAM into megabytes. For example, I have 8 gigabytes of RAM, so to convert it to megabytes, I'll multiply 8 by 1024 to get my total RAM size in megabytes. In the same way, we'll calculate the initial size and maximum size for the virtual memory. For that, open the calculator and calculate the initial and maximum paging sizes. Once you've got the values, enter them into their respective boxes and click Set. This will allocate that amount of disk space to work as virtual memory. You can do the same for other hard drives if you have multiple partitions. Just allocate their free space to work as virtual memory for your PC or laptop on Windows. After allocating virtual memory on your hard drive, Make sure to restart your PC or laptop once so the page file can start working properly. After following all six steps, you'll definitely notice your PC or laptop running much smoother, and it should fix the high RAM and memory usage issue on Windows. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching.